Hey guys, Restoration36 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get hacked clients for Minecraft. Um, right now I'm running 1.8.8, I think. Um, that's the latest version that came out. But I'm pretty sure you can do this for any version, you just have to download the right hack client. Basically, I'm just going to be showing you how to install them. Um, so, with hack clients, you can do lots of things, like you can have this menu here. I'm using the um, Metro 6.0 hacked client I will leave a link in the description for this one but you can also search up different hacked clients find the downloads and install them the same exact way as this one so if I press the right shift this will pop up and you can configure this in the controls I believe let's see here yeah Metro GUI right shift um, it's not the same for every hacked client of course so you might have to fiddle around with it until you can find out where that exactly is but for Metro there. So with this stuff you can do a lot of cool things like you can trace where entities are, um, you can see entities through walls, that's pretty cool. Um, you can fly in survival, which of course I'm not in survival. You can have this full bright on so no matter where you are, so like as you can see pretty dark in here and then if I turn full bright on it's completely light, um, no darkness at all. It's pretty cool. Um, what else can you do? Well, I guess I should just get into how to install it, and you can fill around with this yourself. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna exit out of my Minecraft here, and I'm gonna leave a download link in the description for this .zip folder. But basically, what you're gonna want to do is extract it to the desktop wherever that went I don't think I clicked it so extract that and you should get a folder with two other folders inside of it right here now depending on how um, old this video is when you're watching it there might be newer versions of Metro so I would highly suggest searching it in um, Google or something latest version of Metro and going through the download process but um, here I have Metro 6.0 so that's the latest version in that so I'm gonna be using that and then you won't need the zip or the other folder anymore so inside here there should be a jar and a .json perfect so we're gonna be using that in a second but first we need to go to our Minecraft folder how you do this is you type percent app data data whatever it's called percent and that should bring you to your um, roaming folder. Um, if you don't know how to get here, that's all you have to do. You just have to go into your file explorer, I'm pretty sure this is called, and do that and press enter. And you should see all of these. If, you shouldn't see exactly these, but you should see a few files like this. And you should see a dot Minecraft in there. Um, based on how you organize your folder, it could be in here somewhere but it will be in here so you're just gonna double click on it and then you should get um, get all these files here um, some things that you won't see are for example mods in Metro you won't see that you won't see um, server resource packs probably yeah you will see resource packs but you probably won't see a bunch of these things um, especially down here you probably won't see a bunch because um, if you don't play with mods or if you haven't actually run a hack client before, you won't see any of this. So don't worry, but you should see versions. So you're going to enter that. Now you can see I already downloaded it, but basically you just take this folder and drag it into here. But I already have it in there, so I don't want to like overlap it. And that's all you have to do. Next, you run Minecraft after you do that. Make sure that you're running a brand new launcher or else it won't refresh itself. Um, I actually tried to do this video once before, and I don't want that profile anymore. Delete profile. Alright, so basically what you're going to want to do is go to new profile, name it whatever you want. I'll do equals, 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 I don't know. And then you go to used version, and you scroll down to where you see release Metro 6.0. It might be higher or it might be even lower depending on how many versions Minecraft's pumped out since I've made this video. Then you're gonna save the profile and make sure that you select it. And you should see ready to play Minecraft 
I'm going to play, and it's going to take a little while to actually load it the first time. I've already loaded it, so it won't take that long. But you have to download all of the files and stuff in order to play. And then you can go on to Minecraft servers and single player and play around. So that's really all you have to do. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you can use this to your advantage and um, have some fun. So again, links will be in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.